Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Truck month continues. This is the Chevy K10 that you can unlock this week by getting 20 points in the festival playlist. 99% of you guys are looking at this thing going, Ugh. and why is it fast? Just wait, we'll come to that. Should be super simple to unlock, but before that, Forza Thon Shop, actually not bad. Then, yeah. The Chevy K10 is officially ours. I think with some Forza Horizon 5 customization, this is going to be scary fast. The Chevy K10 we've got in the game has 175 horsepower, 290 foot-pounds of torque. It actually weighs quite a bit considering it's actually like a small little pickup truck. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the Chevy K10. How do I get this out of the way right at the start? I like Ford. I have a Ford Raptor. I have a Ford Mustang. Uh, uh, how, however, I think this is cooler than the Ford that we got last week by a lot. I couldn't even tell you exactly why. It's just an awesome little 70s workhorse of a pickup truck, and I love it. This thing is essentially built on the same platform as the GMC Jimmy. The GMC Jimmy in FH5 is one of the fastest off-road cars, and since they share very, very similar platforms, it might be able to do the same. We'll see. When you go to buy a car, you know how car manufacturers give you, like, different engines that you can choose from? Let me list you off the engine options that you had when you bought one of these back in the 1970s. You could get a 4.1 straight 6, or a 4.6 liter V8, or a 4.6 liter straight 6, a 5 liter V6, a 5 liter V8, or or a 5.4 liter V8, or a 5.7 liter V8, a 5.8 liter V6, a 6.5 liter V8, or a 6.6 liter V8. <laughs> there were 10 different engines that you could choose from for this thing. There are literally less options to choose from at McDonald's when you order a cheeseburger than engines for this vehicle. <laughs> As time went on into the 90s and the early 2000s, the Chevy K10 later became the Chevy Silverado. So they do actually still exist. They just have a different name nowadays. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't a very fast race. So now it's time to make this thing broken. You know it's a bad sign when there were more real-life engine swaps than our engine swaps in Forza Horizon 5. Anyways, we can swap in a 6.2 liter V8, a racing V8, and a V8 twin turbo with 1,800 horsepower. I think we gotta go fastest car we can immediately out of the gate, and then for our second build, we'll scale it down a little bit and actually see if this thing is OP off-road. We've got our thousand horsepower engine. We've already got all-wheel drive. Very nice. Then we will definitely want some aero. So we will swap on that thing and not, not that. Uh, do I want that? I think I do want that. Adjustable aero. After that, we've got all of our tire compounds. Oh no. Let's go rally tires. I feel like that'll be fun. We've already got our super thick tires. Then we need some funky wheels. Let's go for some tire size profile. Actually make the tires bigger. After that, we've got some engine spacer. Well, that's not engine spacers. <laughs> engine spacers that are again, not big enough. You definitely could have given me an extra inch to make me satisfied. But let's be honest, you already knew that. At least that's what your mum said. All right, moving on before I get demonetized. We've already got our upgraded brakes. We have no drift suspension again. Get our anti-roll bars in the front and in the rear. How does a roll cage look? Nothing special, Never mind. And we've already got our weight reduction. All we need is some anti-lag. 3,100 pounds, 1,800 horsepower. I say it all the time. Car colors were better in the 70s. Blue, yellow, green. Golden says his tune is looking very promising for being an OP car. Things you love to see, Golden. All right, away we go in our incredibly overpowered Chevy K10. Look at the way that this car, truck, turns into corners. Like, brake, 
then in. It just bites. It bites so hard. Boys, this destroys the F-150 from last week. Send it through. Send it through. Beautiful little bit of a tap there. Oh, a bit wide. Bit wide. But the brakes slow us down instantly. We just drop 50 miles an hour in like 50 feet. That's like, that's gotta be unsafe. I'm just so blown away by its turning. Look at it, driving, break, in, go. Unbelievable how good this is. Look at the skill points. I think this might actually be the fastest pickup truck in Forza Horizon 5. I'm trying to think of what else might be faster, but I don't think there is anything. The only pickup truck that might actually be faster than this is the Hooney truck. If that's actually true, then that's incredible. The Hooney truck only has a that only has a thousand four hundred horsepower. This thing has an extra 400 horsepower on it. I think this is even better. Somebody will have to do more testing to figure out if that's actually true, but that would be so impressive if it actually is. However, now it's time to figure out, is the Chevy K10 actually OP? Golden, I need your tune, buddy. It's using off-road tire compound, all-wheel drive, stock suspension. By the looks of it, it's running the 6.2 liter V8. Do you think I could get top 150 in the world? I really don't know what to expect, but with just like the numbers on this thing, it should be able to do really, really well. Okay, there's the Ram power wagon who is currently in a hundred and fiftieth spot again don't turn in too early there you go now turn in it gets a lot of slide this thing there we go now we're on pace with the ram baby oh the rams just got way more horsepower than us look at him look at him go he just pulls on us on the straight play it safe through the town don't hit the wall wow look at the pace we did there Sub two minutes on the second attempt. With a little bit more work on the tune and a lot more work on the driving, that's competitive. We're ranked 188th. Are you kidding me? I'm feeling brave. You pick my next build and whatever the first suggestion I see is, is the one I will do. In three, two, one... You really want me to do a reverse wheelie again? All right, fine. Been there, done that. It's apparently time for part two. Drag racing tires, it is. Very skinny rear tires, it is. Very fat front tires, it is. I said it last time, and I will say it again. This is a wheelie bad idea. <laughs> last week, when we tried this, it didn't work. And I think this is probably going to be the same. Let's see. In three, two, one, wheelie away. Yeah, no. Bro, there's no way this is gonna do a normal wheelie. Yes! It, it got up! It's a very pathetic wheelie, but it does get up. Okay, maybe with some shortened gears. Yes! Oh, that's it. That's totally it. It's not the best wheelie car, far from it, but it did better than I thought it would, so it gets pro. There was actually something I wanted to show you a couple weeks ago when I said that Forza Horizon 5 should add trailers to the game. They kind of already have them. You're gonna tell me that FH5 doesn't need trailers? That's so cool. Now that I've got my pleading out of the way, let's go back to the festival for our final build. You might remember last week when we drove the Ford F-150 and I tried to turn it into a Gymkhana vehicle and that went terribly. So I decided to do it again. Chevy K10, maximum horsepower. Maybe I don't want rear wheel drive. Maybe I'll stay all wheel drive. I absolutely hate this. The developers give us drift transmission. They give us a drift differential, but they don't give us drift suspension. Unbelievably disappointing. Once again, I've got to make Make my own drift suspension fantastic look at it look at the camber on the tires here we go and into the drift zone we go so reminder we cannot get too much angle i think this is probably going to be max for us i've got to hold it there that was too much Hundred and thirty thousand points already that's not bad oh my god that's gonna be too much 150,000, 160. We're gonna spin 170,000. I think I have to send it into a spin intentionally. This corner, nothing crazy, but then this one. 
I don't know. I don't know if that was enough. I, I don't think that was as good as last time. Okay, keep going. Do the same thing here. Uncontrolled. Uncontrolled. Oh my god, that was sick! Not only is this a super fun drift car, but I think it's genuinely also the fastest pickup truck in this game. And I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't think it'd be this good. I love this truck.